Michael, April 15th marks our birthday at Cornerstone. It's our 36th birthday. Congratulations, Matt. And the world all celebrates with us, but there's another thing that happens on April 15th. Boy, there sure is. The tax, either we get a refund or we have to write a check. Let's go for the refund first. Amen. Yeah. What, do you, what do you do with the refund? By the way, a lot of people do get refunds, and generally speaking, that's a good thing. But before we leave it, uh, I want to talk about why you got that refund, because from a money management standpoint, that might not be the appropriate thing to do. Uh, so let's talk about why you got it in the first place. One of the things I want to know is, do you get a refund every year? Or did something happen, some special situation? Maybe you changed jobs. One employer has a lot more withheld than another. You got a bonus, you got a special situation. Why are you getting a refund in the first place? Let me give you an example. I have a brother that cannot save 10 cents, no matter what. So for him, it's better to have an extra $10 paid in every week, and at the year, he gets $520 back, and he can do something with the lump sum. Generally, we would tell people that's not a good idea from the time value of money, but let's be honest. We're now in an environment where you don't get anything at the bank for your money. That's right. So it might be better to use that as a savings vehicle, and with a lump sum, wow, I can do something with it. I can what? Now, that's the other thing we're going to be talking about. What do we do with it? But if you're getting very large refunds, three, four, five, six thousand dollars $6,000 a year, it would be better to get that extra $50 every week. So how do I do that? Well, I go into my employer and I fill out what's called a Form W-4. So I have more dependents. Let's say I'm married and have two children at home and I'm saying that on my return and getting a big refund. Well, I, I'm allowed legally to say I have six dependents, even though I only have two. Oh, is that right? That's legally to do as long as you don't end up owing a bunch of money at the end of the year. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people will adjust the rehold, their withholdings during the course of the year. Is there a limit to how many you can claim? Well, technically, no. I mean, the, you could say 14. If uh, I, By the way, I've done tax returns where people had four. I used to do returns out in Amish territory <laughs> on the other side of the state where we'd have to attach a schedule of them, and, but they actually had them. But you were allowed to say them as long as you don't end up, you know, having too much withheld that you actually owe the IRS a whole lot of money. Well, let's say you get a check. You're going to get a refund check. What do you, what's your, what's the wise thing to do? Now, I know I see a lot of advertisements saying, oh, boy. you know, come, this is a special sale. Real tailors are all over you right now saying, you got that refund in your hand, mm -hmm. okay? One thing I don't want you to do is put it in your checkbook. Don't just deposit it, because you know what will happen? You'll $50 it here, you'll $50, life, it's mm -hmm. called life, things come up. Mm -hmm. We got to set that thing aside right away. Well, one thing I always want people to have is an emergency fund. Let's build one right now. What is an emergency fund? It's one or two months salary set aside to deal with life. The car breaks down. We have a repair at the house. The dishwasher just quit working, which I just had at my home. Got to have an emergency fund to be able to deal with it. The other thing is people say, well, I can't get a good high return on my money. Well, yes, you can. You're paying on a 12% credit card, okay? 12% on the credit card. 0% or a half a percent at the bank. Let's pay down our debt. That's very, very, very good use of our money. A lot of us want to spend it. Okay, let's spend it, but let's make sure that it's a purchase that you need. You know, there's a lot of four-letter words out there. Want and need are two of them that we really struggle with. Mm -hmm. Need, want. Let's get want out of our vocabulary. Let's really deal with something. Do you have youngsters? Let's start to build a college fund. Mm -hmm. You know, if you put $1,000 away today for a child and just let it grow over normal channels for 18 years, yes, you won't be able to pay for their total college fund under normal returns, but you'll have significant amount of money over that long period of time. I did that with, I have eight grandchildren, and with all of them, when they were born, my wife and I set a certain amount of money into government savings bonds, I bonds. Mm -hmm. And we just let them build up and build up. And someday when they're 18, maybe they won't go to college, maybe they'll get married, maybe they'll go to a trade school, but we can get involved in helping them with that. IRAs and 529 plans are all useful. How about if we make a repair at our home that makes our home more energy efficient. Mm -hmm. That would, plus we get a tax credit maybe, depending on what it was. But see, all of these things are getting us away from that impulse. Mm -hmm. Okay, we got a refund. Why did we get it? 
let's revisit that. Let's see if we shouldn't do something better money management. But if we are going to get refunds, let's be smart with that money. Well, one thing, and take me down this path, you don't want to do, I don't think you want to do, is go get a loan on your projected refund. Yes, and that's a big deal. There is a cost to that. In other words, we'll give you the money now and then instead of waiting 30 days. First of all, you can electronically file these days. I did it. I get people refund in eight days. Oh you can wait eight days. Don't let one of these processing companies charge you a fee so you can get your money quicker. Because if you're that motivated, you're probably going to spend it on yeah, things you're you should Yeah, you spend it on to. something else. So what I heard you say is check, make sure you don't get too much back. If you're getting too much yep. back, maybe you don't need to Be put that side away. It. Number two, when you, when you uh, get money back, do something wise with it. Maybe Please. an emergency fund. Yep. Maybe an investment in your home. Yeah. Maybe an investment in your kids or your grandkids. Always good advice. Don't just go out and celebrate and spend it. Doesn't well, make any sense. Then, no, nah, don't make any sense. That, <laughs> that should be the name of this segment. Make sense. Make sense. Michael, thank you. God bless you. Thank you. You, you too. Thank you.